Oh, hi again. Leah here from AlexJWilson.com. Today I want to talk about yet another thing I love about Toronto. It's hidden homes. Whether it's a laneway house or a tucked away street, the hidden houses in our city all have a story to tell. So let's have a look at a few of these gems, most of which you cannot even see on Google Maps. Leah's Little Adventures in Big Toronto, Episode 12, Hidden Homes. Okay, so let's start in Parkdale. You know Parkdale, the neighborhood with something for everyone. But do you know of Trenton Terrace? It's located just off of Cowan, south of King, and it was built in the 1880s as workers' cottages. And they were built to squeeze as much housing onto a single lot. So you can call it density, 1880s style. Still in Parkdale, there's another little gem. It's called Melbourne Place. But unlike Trenton Terrace, it's not necessarily accessible to the public. It's located south of Queen and west of Dufferin, and the street's gated. Uh, kind of posher version of, uh, of you know a street. It's an English style muse, and so I guess if you're from England and, and homesick, you can go and have a look, and you might just get cured. Okay, up and over to Bloor Court. The Lane House on Bartlett is a quite interesting project. It's under construction, and it's converting a former yarn factory uh, into condos. So it's a great example of repurposing uh, commercial or industrial space in a low-rise neighborhood. So next, let's head over to Kensington Market, but first we'll make a quick stop on Croft Street, in the laneway specifically. So Croft, Croft Street is located just south of Ulster, and uh, its laneway has two laneway houses. One's a court and steel clad house, and the other is a masculine brick house. Um, both modern and really the exception to the rule as to, you know, what many laneway houses there are in the city. Okay, so quite honestly, I've been to Kensington Market a thousand times before I knew of Kensington Place. The street looks similar to a lot of the residential streets around uh, the market, only it's tucked away. So you can access it via foot if you go behind uh, the laneway of Essence of Life. Okay, now on to Cabbage Town. This is probably the most known area of laneway houses in the city. There's the Wellesley Cottages and uh, Alpha Avenue, both workers' cottages, very quaint, and it's amazing how they somehow escape development over the years. If you go south to Corktown, it's the east side's answer to a private street. It's called Percy Street, which also gives you the feeling that you're somewhere else in Toronto. Then finally over the Dawn in South Riverdale, there's Wood Green Place. I don't know too much about this laneway street except every time I'm there, I always get drawn into, you know, want to go check it out. It's located south of Queen and east of Broadview. The street just oozes charm. And an interesting fact is that it has a house listed on Airbnb. So if you really want to check it out up close and personal, there's your chance. Okay, that's all I have for this week. Hopefully I've armed you with um, some knowledge to impress some out-of-town guests. Do you have any favorites I didn't mention? Let me know. And don't forget, if you want to see all the videos related to alexjwilson.com, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel or click here to subscribe to our newsletter. Thanks!